Hello students, in this video we will discuss some solutions based on topic mass, density, area and volume. A rectangular block of wood has dimensions. Its all dimensions have been given. Calculate its volume. So the formula for calculating the volume of rectangular block is uh, multiply all these three sides. Convert these sides in centimeter. Here we have given the conversion and put the value in the formula then the answer is uh, 1968 centimeter cube 10 identical length of wire are laid closely side by side their combined width is measured which is 14.2 millimeter calculate the radius of the single wire so combined width of 10 wire 14.2 millimeter convert in centimeter number of turns 10 width of one turn will be combined with divided by total number of turns it is 0.142 centimeter and radius of wire is equal to width of one turn divided by two half of width of one turn so it is 0.071 centimeter now we have to calculate the volume in millimeter cube of a single wire if its length is 10 centimeter so we will use the formula pi r square h where h is the height of cylinder in this case h is the length of wire it is 10 centimeter convert in millimeter 100 millimeter and use the formula pi r square h convert r in millimeter also it is 0.71 millimeter and answer is 158.28 millimeter cube. The volume of a piece of wood which floats in water can be measured as shown. Write a brief paragraph to describe the procedure. Now for writing part I would suggest you to please watch my video where we have discussed detail and the all information is even given on the slide so you can copy all procedure and state the volume of the wood. So initial reading is 50 centimeter cube initial reading has volume of water plus steel block in the final reading volume of water plus wood plus steel volume of wood and volume of steel which is 67.5 centimeter cube so volume of wood will be the subtraction of these two readings it is 17.5 centimeter cube here we have to calculate density its volume is given 500 centimeter cube mass is given 6.60 kilogram since these are from different system this is from CGS this is from MKS you have to convert mass in gram so mass is 6600 gram and density can be calculated using the formula mass divided by volume which is 13.2 gram per centimeter cube a steel block has mass 14 gram it is in the form of a cube each edge of cube is 1.74 centimeter so for calculating density we have to first calculate volume and the volume of cube is side multiply by side multiply by side which is 5.268 centimeter cube unit is centimeter mass is gram density will be mass per unit volume gram per centimeter cube 7.59 gram per centimeter cube a student measure the density of a piece of steel she uses the method of displacement to find its value her measurements are shown in the diagram calculate the volume of the steel and its density here the volume of water is equal to 80 centimeter cube and volume of water plus steel is equal to 160 centimeter cube volume of steel will be the subtraction of these two values it is 80 centimeter cube now density of steel is equal to mass of steel divided by volume of steel mass is 20 gram divided by 80 centimeter cube is equal to 0.25 gram per centimeter cube. Many television sets show 25 images called frames each second. What is the time interval between one frame and the next? Here time taken to show 25 frame is equal to one second. So time taken to show one frame is equal to 0 0.04 second. Next frame will begin at the end of the previous frame. Therefore the time interval between one frame and the next is 0 0.04 second. A pendulum is timed first for 20 sinks and then for 50 sinks. Time for 20 sinks is equal to 17.4 second. So average time per swing in case 1. This is case 1 is equal to time taken 17.4 divided by number of swings 20 is equal to 0.87 second.
time taken for 50 swings is equal to 43.2 second so average time per swing in case 2 is equal to time taken 43.2 second divided by 50 number of total swings 43.2 divided by 50 is equal to 0.864 second now calculate the average time per swing in each case the answers are slightly different yes because for 20 swings the average time per swing was 0.87 second it is slightly reduced for 50 swings it is 0.864 second average time per swing in case 2 so suggest some possible experimental region um, air friction will decrease the amplitude of the swing yeah with the time the amplitude of the swing will decrease so average time taken for 50 swing in case 2 is less as compared to case 1 a student has 500 identical rectangular sheets of paper the mass of 1 meter is square of the paper is given here Using a meter rule, she measures the length of one sheet of paper and its width. The length is given and width is given. So, we can calculate area of one sheet of paper. This is 0 0.063 meter square. And we have given that mass of one meter square of paper is this much. So, mass of 0 0.063 meter square of paper will be 0 0.063 multiplied by 0 0.080 which is 0 0.00504 kilogram. Now uh, the student makes a single pile of the 500 sheets of paper. With a meter rule she measures the height of the pile. So the height of 500 sheets of paper is 0 0.048 meter. So thickness of one paper we can calculate if we divide this number by total number of sheets. It will give you thickness of one paper. So it is in this case it is 0 0.00096 meter. Now we can calculate volume of paper. Volume of paper will be area multiplied by thickness. Area of one sheet of paper 0 0.063 multiplied by thickness, which is this much 0 0.0006048 meter cube. And density is equal to mass per unit volume. So we can divide mass. Uh, by the volume to get density which is 833.33 kilogram per meter cube in this case. The density of aluminium is given and the thickness of rectangular sheet of aluminium foil varies but it is much less than 1 millimeter. A student wishes to find the average thickness. She obtains the following measurements. Mass of sheet, length of sheet and width of sheet. Calculate the volume of sheet. So volume is equal to mass divided by density. Mass is given 60.7 and density is given 2.7. So it is 22.48 cm cube. Now the average thickness of the sheet. Area of sheet is equal to length multiplied by width and volume is equal to area multiplied by thickness. So thickness is equal to volume divided by area. Volume is 22.48 and area is Multiply length multiply by width give you area and this is 0 0.01499 cm. Thank you for watching the videos and please write in comment section your feedback and I request you to watch other videos for all topics. Thank you. Thank you very much.